How's it going everybody? Cub fan here. And today I have three unique inventions to show you. Uh, two quad portals, which are automatically toggleable, and a fire pit. So all of these inventions use a similar principle, but they have different unique design properties, which I think makes them pretty interesting. So I'll show you the first two here, and then I'll show you a quick tutorial on the third one, so you can build the other ones uh, from the, the third one itself. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this first design here, some of you might recognize from my Let's Play world. Uh, it's the exact same design I built there. And essentially what this does, uh, it basically simulates the nether uh, in the overworld. So basically when you hit this button, fire charges will shoot out of these dispensers, igniting the nether rack, and uh, lighting all four of these portals at the same time. So let's go ahead and see that. There we go. There's the quad portal lit. And then after some time, the whole thing will reset there. All right, good deal. Go ahead and get rid of this. So yeah, it's uh, flush with the floor is one of the benefits of it. Uh, the only thing that's not so great about it is you have to automatically get rid of, I uh, have to manually get rid of the portals rather with like a water bucket or a lava bucket. Uh, so let me show you how this works. So when you hit that button, it activates a redstone signal here in this line, which activates this piston. This piston pushes a line of blocks upwards, this whole line upwards, uh, which in turn pushes this redstone block up, meaning all this redstone here gets depowered, which will then turn this torch on after some delay. And that will power this piston back on, pushing this redstone block down, igniting all of these dispensers at more or less the same time. That lights the portal, lights the nether rack. And then coming back down here once again, uh, at the same time this piston is firing, uh, this delay line um, has a signal going through it. And it will actually um, turn off all these pistons temporarily and then turn them back on. So that's how it works. And like I said, all three of these designs use a similar principle. So if you can build one of them, you can build all of them. Uh, now this next design here is a fire pit. Let me show you what I mean by that. Say you have some items, you don't need all these fire chargers, so let's get rid of them. Just sort of toss any junk items you have in here, sandstone, water bucket, polished granite, diorite, iron bars, doesn't matter. Toss them in there, hit this button, and they all go away. So it's basically just a really cool trash can. Uh, and then the fire gets put out after you're done using it. You actually don't need these iron bars either. You could have it just a walk-in fire pit. But uh, the bottom redstone is the same as that one over there. The top redstone, however, is a lot cheaper. Um, yeah, you can probably figure it out from that. But yeah, pretty cool fire pit and a cool way to get rid of items. And then finally, what we have here is the fully automatic cube portal. And what this one does is, is it lights all the portals automatically and then shuts them all off also by dispensing water twice from these dispensers. So I'll show you this one in action here. So it lights them all, just like so. And then after a brief delay here, it dispenses water and picks it back up quite quickly. Uh, so you get rid of all the annoying portal sounds. So uh, I'll also show you what works real quick here in survival. So you have enough time to go through the portal. Alright, there we go. Step in. Alright. And you can step out and do whatever here in the nether. And then once you're done here, go back through. And boom. Right when you enter the overworld, your portal is broken and you get no annoying portal sounds. So let's go ahead and see how we build this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to mark out a 5x5 five five square of obsidian. So you should have a 3x3 three three in the center. And then you want to count out uh, 7 blocks up. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then over, 
and then up from the bottom there that's your first portal and then just make four of these five by seven portals you don't want to go a whole lot bigger than that and the reason being is because your piston that pushes the central pillar of blocks has to be able to push all the blocks uh, so you can't make this you know five by twelve or something like that uh, but once you have that cube portal it should look something like that next thing you want to do is you want to come to the center of your cube portal and place a block then go ahead and get rid of all four of these blocks here in sort of a plus pattern and you want to place down a dispenser on each face of that central block and these will be the dispensers that will break the portals eventually after that we'll go ahead and come to the block between these two dispensers and break it drop down here a bit and we're gonna go ahead and place some torches right underneath of these dispensers and then we'll do the exact same thing on this side next thing you want to do is you want to come to the middle of the dispensers and destroy the block you placed earlier then you'll dig down one two three four five blocks place a normal piston facing upwards and then take any solid block and start to pillar up. So we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then on the 10th block we'll place a fence. And we'll hop on over here and place a redstone block on top of that. That is flush with the uh, upper part of the cube portal. And then go ahead and fill in the rest of the blocks like that. The next thing you want to do is determine where your input will be for the quad portal. My input's going to be right there in that block, so this will be the front of my quad portal here. And you also see up here I've placed some blocks in a specific configuration. Note that this block is a little bit off-centered uh, from where the other three blocks are on the uh, outside of the quad portal. And we'll drop down here, and on the underside of all these blocks we will place a dispenser facing downward into the portal. And these will hold our fire charges and they will ignite the portals so once you have your dispensers placed get rid of all these extra blocks and we'll place a couple other blocks here so place a block there block here and then we'll do sort of a stair step pattern here up like so next we'll take some redstone put redstone there there and there then we'll take some repeaters repeater on four there repeater there repeater there dust there on the front dispenser a repeater on four ticks delay redstone up like that then take a torch place it like so and then finally a regular piston facing downward like that and that is your top completely done all right next step uh, we're gonna go ahead and place our button now you have two choices here you can place it on the ground like that or you can place it directly on the portal like so. I'm going to go ahead and place it on the portal, which means I can break this block and the one below it. And then we can drop down here, and we need a block below there, directly below the button with a redstone on it. And we'll have to put a half slab right there. And that'll allow the signal to continue through. And then all we have to do is make a stair step pattern down. You'll see when we put redstone there, it connects up to the one above. And then we'll just keep on coming down like so. Make a little, little staircase pattern here. Nothing too difficult. Just like that. And then we'll lead it right into this piston here. And then just a straight line of redstone all the way up. Next up we'll take our redstone tower here and we'll make it go to our dispensers. Uh, so first of all we have to put down some repeaters, 16 to be exact in order to delay the signal so we have enough time to go through the portal first and so you need 16 repeaters on four ticks delay each so a total of 64 ticks delay and most of you will build this underground so you can make it in whichever shape you so desire but set these all to maximum delay so now you have your 64 tick delay here come over to the block your signal eventually reaches and place a torch down then you want to come down here and place some hoppers and these hoppers should be facing directly into each other go ahead and place one item in there doesn't matter what the item is then you'll place a block beneath the hopper 
and to the side of it. You want a comparator coming out that way. And then that should go into a block with a torch on it. Another block on top of that, and then redstone on top of that. Okay, so from this redstone dust here, you'll come to the uh, front side of your portal. Go ahead and place a block down there, block to the right of it, then come up one, and you'll place dust like that, and a repeater facing into that block with dust on top of it. Now all we have to do is hook up these four blocks, which hold the torches underneath of our dispensers, to this redstone signal. So to do that, we'll go ahead and place a block there, repeater facing into it, block on either side of this redstone dust like that, and then dust on top of those, and then just bring them over so that uh, they basically line up to the edges of these blocks here, repeaters facing into them, and then connect them up with redstone dust, just like that. And then we'll do the same thing on the other sides. Uh, just make sure you have a repeater facing into those blocks. And then just draw them over like so. And then of course fill them with redstone and you should be good to go once you have everything there filled in. So once you're done your bottom redstone should look a little bit like this. Then come up to the top here and you're almost done. Just got to place some pressure plates or half slabs or really anything that can block water in front of the dispensers so they don't spread water everywhere. Then go ahead and put some water buckets into those dispensers on the bottom here. And again, these will break the portals once they're lit. Go ahead and also fill your dispensers up with fire charges. Just like so. And then you can drop down to the front here, hit the button, and test her out. So there we go, all of them lit. And then after a short delay, there's the water there. Alright, so that is the entire build complete. Then you can go through and, you know, get some decorated uh, blocks and you can place whatever you want in these slots here as long as you do not affect the main column here of sandstone. So that is how you build the auto toggling cube portal. And as I said before, if you can build this version, you can build the fire pit version to get rid of your items, and also the other version of the portal I have over here. So thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And leave any questions down in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.